After more than a year of teases and trailers, I finally had a chance to dive into Lost Planet 2's competitive multiplayer. After a couple of hours of grappling hooks, giant gatling guns, and hammering the B button, I got a pretty good feel for the game, but there are still a lot of questions before its May release. A good amount of the feel of the first game returns in Lost Planet 2. You'll be throwing disc grenades and scrambling to find vital suits in no time, whether you're playing Elimination, which is like Deathmatch, Post Grab, which is kind of like a Conquest mode, or the new Fugitive mode, where a small team of fugitives is hunted by a much larger second team. In addition to the Pirate Fortress map from the original game, we got to plow through the vegetation of the turbulent jungle, ride giant shrimp on the beachhead-inspired Thunderpeel precipice, and shoot at helicopters on the ocean-bound oil rigs of Dual Complex. Initializing. Ready. The star of the multiplayer remains the vital suits, which come in more shapes and sizes this time around. There's everything from small battlesuit power-ups to enormous spider-shaped mechs that seat most of your team. These all help to give the game a sense of identity and establish a unique dynamic in the gameplay. On foot, you need to measure being prepared for human foes or mechanical enemies. Weapons effective against one are rarely effective against the other. Capcom also added more conventional vehicles, like tanks and weird hovercraft, whose speed or maneuverability add new wrinkles to the multiplayer. I do have some concerns. In my time with the game, regardless of mode, everyone did the same things over and over. The same players went for data posts, the same players went for sniper rifles, and the same players went for vital suits. No one adapted their tactics according to the mode we were playing. Thus far, I haven't seen anything to force different approaches from mode to mode, but there are still a number of maps that we haven't seen yet. In other words, there may well be more to things than are clear right now. In the meantime, players at home will get their chance to check things out for themselves when the multiplayer demo releases this week. March 31st on Xbox Live and April 1st on PSN. You can also check out my full impressions of Lost Planet 2's multiplayer on IGN.com.